Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm taking you guys up the silo with me and we're gonna grease our silo and loader, check the belts on it, and also change a couple doors. While we're up there, I'm gonna explain to you guys how the silo and loader works to bring feed from the top of the silo down to this elevator and out into our mixer wagon so we can feed the cows. As with anything, safety first. You don't want to be breathing in all that dust. The only tools I'm going to need is a grease gun. I've got it right here, and I'll be taking it up with me. All right, so first I'm going to take this spout off and set it out of the way. I'm going to remove this little dust cover. I usually strip my extra coat off just because it's one less thing to get dirty. And now I'm going to sneak up into the entrance of the chute. It's a little tight, but not too bad once you're inside. This is a 60 foot tall silo with a 16 foot diameter. We've got high moisture corn stored in it right now. So I don't have to go the whole way to the top. You can see me brushing the windows off as I go. It just lets a little more light in. All right, now we're looking down at the unloader. I'm gonna go ahead and freeze this frame here so I can point out some of the parts of it and how it runs in general. All right, so under this cover, there's an auger that brings the high moisture corn to the blower. From the blower, it sends it up this spout. And from that spout, it sends it down the chute into the elevator. The auger and blower all move in a circle around this ring, except for the spout that stays stationary. Here I'm going to show the path of the auger in yellow and the path of the feed in green. It's just going along the auger and up and out the spout into the chute and then it falls the whole way down the silo into the elevator. Here's a view from where I'm standing inside the silo right now. Gonna disconnect the spout from the wall, unchain it, and I'm also gonna unchain the unloader from the wall. I'm gonna disconnect my power. I have to disconnect everything because I'm gonna be leapfrogging with these doors. Pop a door out, put it above itself and then bring the spout and power with me to the next door down. And I'll just repeat the process for the next door. I always like to clean out all the lips and edges, that way the door fits in snug. These doors are in really good shape because they've been replaced. It's no fun when you're going up a silo and uh, pieces of the door are falling off or they don't fit tight. Got the doors moved, hooking the power back up. It's got a little seal so it doesn't come apart. I'm going to jump on inside the silo and do my maintenance. Apologies for the cell phone lighting, but I forgot my headlamp and I wasn't going back down just for that. Usually I don't even have a light with me, but it's really hard to pick up this stuff on camera. In general, it's bright enough in here you can do it without a light. There you can see the motor on the back of the blower that runs it. And there's the spout that shoots the feed out. Alright, I'm just going to take this cover off, check the belts behind it, and grease the bearing of the blower. As 
with one grease fitting on each side. Alright, now I'm going to grease the drive sprocket that moves the auger and blower around the ring inside of the silo. And here I'm just greasing the fittings right below the spout. The spout stays stationary so it's got a connection where it can, it can spin so you want to keep it greased up so it does not bind. And here's the electric motor. It's got a grease fitting on each side. You don't want to overdo it. I just give them a squirt each. This flex shaft drives that drive sprocket so you want to make sure it's greased very well. Here's just a top down view. I'm finishing greasing the spout. You can kind of get a feel for how big the silo is on the inside with me walking around. Putting the belt cover back on just making sure I get these wing nuts nice and tight. You definitely don't want this thing falling off while the unloader is running. The shaft does have a roll pin in it that if it did strike something hard it would just shear the pin. But that's still a pain to have to climb up the silo and replace that and carry all your tools with you. All right, now I'm gonna step back outside into the shaft. I'm just gonna peek my head in here and give you guys a quick view of the chipper. When that auger is spinning, that chipper is what keeps the wall clean and from buildup happening. You can see there's a little bit right here, but it'll vibrate off and chip off as the chipper goes around. Not a big deal. All right, everything's secured. I got my grease gun. We're gonna head back on down the silo. It's definitely a lot easier coming back down than it is going up. Just gotta finagle my way around this elevator. And then we're good to go. Now I just gotta get as much dust off as I can. Try everything, beating it off, grooming it off. All right, so once you've changed your doors, you always wanna make sure that the unloader still runs before you close everything back up. Otherwise, you gotta go back up top and uh, check out what's going on. So we're just gonna run a little bit down quick and uh, make sure everything's working. First, we'll turn on our elevator. <laughs> now we'll turn on the unloader. like she's working so we're just gonna cap it and close it back up hope you guys enjoyed seeing the inside of a silo and how it works and if you have any questions leave them down in the comments and we'll catch you guys on the next one